thanks for watching. And today we would like to do something really cool, what's usually called linear regression. So using linear algebra, let's find the equation of the line of the line let's say uh, I guess y equals to ax plus b that best fits the following point fits the points 1 0 2 1 4 2 5 3 and 6 5 what does best mean? I'll define it in a second, but I just want to say I once took a statistics class and literally everything we have to do was find this regression line, which is always the same and same technique. So if you ever take a statistics class, remember that. So, and just a little picture. <clears throat> so we have this couple of points. So one zero, <clears throat> maybe here, and then two, one here, and then three, four, one, two, so four, two, and then five, three, and six, five, one, two, three, four, five, no, sorry, six, yeah, one, one, two, three, four, five, so six, five. Now, those points, they don't fit exactly a line. So in fact, you can show that there's no line that goes through all those points. But it turns out there's an approximate line that fits most of the points. And what I mean by it fits most of the points, it's really the line that minimizes the sum of squares of the, it minimizes, if you want, the distance, the total distance between the points and the lines. So if you like to think of this red thing as the errors, it minimizes more or less the sums of the square root of the sums of squares of these arrows, what are called uh, least squares errors. So, and in fact, let's do this. It's just a little bit of linear algebra. So, suppose that this line fits the points exactly. Then, one zero would go through this line. So, a times one plus b would be zero. Similarly, a times two plus b would be 1, assuming that 2, 1 goes through this line. Uh, a times 4 plus b would be 2. a times 5 plus b would be 3. And a times 6 plus b would be 5. Then we would get a system. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. a, b equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 5. Now, that's a system of too many equations in too few unknowns. If we're lucky, yeah, this could have a solution, but if you actually try it out, you'll see there is no solution. But even though there is no solution, you can still find a least square solution. So let's do that. So this is ax equals b. And well, how do you find least square solutions to your equations? Take ax equals b and multiply both sides by a transpose. So in this statistics course, all I have to do is multiply both sides by a transpose everywhere. So then we get our um, least squares equation. So a transpose a, our least squares equation equals to a transpose b. And let's do that. So a transpose is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Yeah, don't make that. And then x hat, let's call this a hat and b hat. And then 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And b was 0, 1, 2, 3, 5. And if you do that, you get, I apologize, some ugly system, 82, 18, 18, and 5, a hat and b hat equals 
55 and 11. And then you, to calculate A hat and B hat, by the way, notice, this, even though this was a complicated system, it just reduces to a two by two system here. So A hat and B hat are the inverse of this. 82, 18, 18, and five, inverse of 55 and 11. And using the, using the inverse of a two by two matrix, which you can find, one over AD minus BC, and then the other values, you find that in, in the end, A hat, B hat, are simply 77 over 86 and minus 44 over 43. And therefore, our regression line would be y is 77 over 86x minus 44 over 43, which is roughly 0.895x minus 1.023 which to be honest it kind of makes sense in this picture because this line almost has slope 1 so 0 0.895 and it almost has y intercept minus 1 which is fine last but not least suppose the cool thing is you can modify this a little bit suppose that you say well the um, those two points they're not very reliable so suppose someone made a bad experiment and you're not sure if this is correct, then it turns out you can find a line that um, goes through more through those points than through those outliers. And the way to do this is very simple. You take your matrix A and you just pre-multiply it by a diagonal matrix with entries 1 half, 1, 1, 1, and 1 half, and then a bunch of zeros. Uh, something like that. Probably more zeros than that. But, <laughs> but if you pre-multiply your matrix, then you get slightly different matrix. And if you apply least squares to that one, you actually interestingly get a line that goes through those three points definitely, so more likely than those outliers. So it's really cool. It's like a model that you can change a little bit. And, all right, so if you like that and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.